Modern COD Zombies is failing for a plethora of reasons. One of them being a multitude of microtransactions. Second, with no character set crew, it's so hard to play with operators all the time. And then third, the basic stripping of round-based features, which Expert Fusion helps us today understand how important the HUD was in Call of Hugs Duty Zombies. And UIs and Let's video get games it, baby. are way more important than I feel like most people seem to realize. Of and especially course. for Call of Duty Zombies. Yeah. I think it makes a big difference. Black Ops 4 lived and died by its HUD and perk system, and nobody will be able to tell me differently, man. On how the game actually feels and looks to the player. Yes. And if you don't know what a HUD or a UI is, the simple explanation is that a HUD is a heads-up display, which is, of course, all the little pieces of information you get on your screen while you're actually in gameplay yes. or any given game. Every single game has a heads-up display. There is always, you know, one available. Sometimes you can customize it. Sometimes you can't. And sometimes it turns off for certain, you know, gameplay sequences. Sometimes there's more. For the most part, I would say Zombies is a static HUD. Cold War is a great example. Look at the HUD element that my webcam is covering right now. It's the mini-map. And every single Zombies YouTuber did that. Because in my opinion, it was kind of a useless feature. Same thing with the compass, man. More it's things on the screen at worthless. once. There could be permanent things oh, on the HUD, Vanguard, which means it's even, always there. But there could also be things that pop up temporarily and then yeah. go away short. Metals, I think, are kind of stupid in Zombies. I mean, they were cool for Cold War, but I don't really like that every game is using them now. After, you know, the UI is just really anything involving the user interface. Yes. That's what it stands for. That could be the menus, but it could also be the heads-up display. And you actually notice a pattern between the HUD and the menu that it constantly gets more complicated as the years go by. Heads-up display is kind of part of the UI. Yes. But in general, I think all of this is so important for games, especially Call of Duty Zombies, I more agree. than the average person thinks. I agree. And I'm of the opinion that the recent Call of Duty Zombies games, the past four Call of Duty Zombies games, have had the worst HUDs we've ever seen in Call of Duty Zombies. I fully agree and I genuinely believe that this is part of the reason why Zombies is failing is because when you look at a HUD like this, you genuinely can't distinguish if it's Warzone, multiplayer, or Zombies unless you see the enemy that you're fighting, which is absolutely stupid. And Should as I said not before, be like a lot that. of people might say that's really not a big deal. These HUDs don't have to be amazing for the game to actually work. But I, I disagree, disagree heavily. You're looking at this screen the entire time you're playing. It should be immaculately well thought out. I do think when you have a bad HUD, it does take away from the atmosphere yes. of the game, the story, the setting, yes. and even some of the gameplay because it just gets all in your face and you just you can't really enjoy the atmosphere nearly as much and the personality is also lost. And I do have to say that Cold Wars, I think was the best version of the HUD out of the last four COD zombie games we have. But however, there's still too much on the screen. Like so many, per I'm fine with the perks, but like the guns look like they're part of Warzone. You know, the bottom left side also is a Warzone look as well. And it's like, do we really need a mini map? Do we really need a compass? You when know? the HUD is really, really I've never used the compass once in COD Zombies, still to this day, bad. ever. And what has been one of the biggest complaints with zombies over the past few years, it's the fact that the zombies modes just haven't really been feeling like zombies. Exactly. They've lost their personality, exactly. they lost yep. their soul. And it's because they're borrowing assets from Warzone and multiplayer, you know? It's not supposed to be like and that. Yes, I think a big part of that is because of the HUDs. So I'm going to go over a few general things that I think have been affecting these HUDs more than anything, and then we'll get into some more specifics. So these things I'm going to point out, some of them don't apply for all of these recent HUDs, only some of them. But of course, the recent games being Black Ops 4, Cold War Zombies, Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. And you can notice every single one of these are just cluttered with information that like I can literally spend two minutes looking at. And being like, okay, we don't need this here. We don't need that there. We don't need this here either. You can literally make it look so much better. Black Ops 1's HUD was like, it would literally disappear after a lot of time, bro. Like if you just stood still, that was the craziest part about that HUD, man. Zombies and of course, Vanguard that. zombies. So yeah. first things first, the HUDs being very intrusive to the screen. Now this is one that, like I said, it affects some of these more than others, of course. 
but especially Cold War and Vanguard more than anything. Oh, 100%. It is insanely intrusive, this yeah, HUD. Horrific. There is so much stuff on the screen yeah. while you're playing. And sometimes there's really not that much. And then the zombies also have HUD elements. They have health bars now and all these different little things that pop up when they become brain rot and all that. It's literally information overload. It's too hard to tell where the eye needs to focus on. Stuff on the screen. Know? when you're just, you know, stand still, you're not shooting any zombies. And that's also why I think Cold War actually looks bad on gameplay. If you go back to any of my videos of Cold War, it looks super pixelated and bad because there's just too much information to literally process on the screen. Means you're just looking up at the sky or something. It doesn't usually look that terrible, but once you actually start shooting zombies... Yeah, like, is... you see what I mean? Like, all the effects, and then the salvage pop-ups, and then the kill feed, and then the metals, like... It's literally brain information overload. Just too all much. over the place, especially in those yeah. games. Black Ops 4 has kind of a different issue where shooting zombies doesn't really change the HUD all that much. There's not a lot of... It's more so just the original HUD being absolutely horrific. Like, my my webcam is covering the round. Why, Treyarch, did you think that putting the round where people put their webcam normally was a good idea ever? Pop-ups on know? the screen. But the HUD itself is very intrusive, especially on the lower parts so of true. the HUD. And then when you go to Modern Warfare Zombies, I feel like this one's the least intrusive out of these recent ones. I would say it is definitely the best in recent years. However, it's just too similar to Warzone. Also, I don't like the clutter of all of this information on the players. This needs to be minimized so much more. Like, there's very rare situations where I ever need to look at another player's health, especially ones. like... But I still think I there know. is some issues with it and just the way it's agree. laid out. And there's just not enough customization for really any of these HUDs to make them fit your play style. Exactly. The next thing doesn't yeah. really apply to Black Ops 4. The only issue Black Ops 4 really has with its HUD is how intrusive it is. But this and is just the fact that these don't really have that much of a zombies feel to them. Especially, yes. of course, Cold War, Vanguard, and Modern Warfare 3 yes. zombies. The HUDs do not scream zombies to me. You know, in the past, HUDs have always felt unique. Look at the minimalism here perfectly tight-knit round counter with the perks and then your small little ammo counter with the points on the side it was perfect like my eyes naturally gravitate towards the middle of the screen i'm not like constantly looking at hud elements all Neek the time to zombies you know? they never were the same huds that it's you would so get in a true. multiplayer experience never it would always yes. be its own same thing with bl3 like bl3 i think is like the most you should ever put on the hud like Nothing should ever be on the top left or the top right corner in zombies. Stick it to the bottom left and the bottom right corner. Separate thing, and it always had a zombies feel to it, especially when you go back to Black Ops 2, where they even had unique yes. HUDs depending on the map you were playing. Mob of so the Dead, amazing. Buried, and Origins all yeah. had unique HUDs from one oh, I gotta do that for Dire Eyes, man. Unique HUD. One another. Oh, Stuff like that man. is so cool. Shadows yes. of Evil did the same thing, where their HUD is a bit different than some of the other maps in Black Ops 3 Zombies. And then even when we get a little bit more specific with the user interfaces, specifically with the inventory screens that, you know, Zombies, of course, has. I know. They're so unique and just organized, and all the information is displayed exactly how it needs to be. And like, most of it's modes why did we go away from this on your controller you, you get know the inventory screen and infinite warfare did something really cool where IW's each map was had really a good very too. unique user interface look how bright it is and you can see all the slots and it's like it literally makes you want to go out and like search for it you know i didn't really like the photo hud but i do like uh, the way they did all these badges and whatnot for you know? each of those maps that is what you should do you should be yes. having stuff like that but then you go to cold war zombies and you press that back button to see the inventory screen it is the most plain looking so looking true ui i've ever it's literally just boxes and it's like you can barely see what item you need outlined at the bottom here like they literally did that just to prolong game time for people hunting for easter eggs also yeah i agree why is the salvage and the point counter such a big thing on this part of the head but then it's just not on the regular hud and not even shown neatly as well i agree Ever seen in my so entire true life. and vanguard zombies so doesn't true. even have an inventory ui they just just scrapped it even though it just looks like a multiplayer hud literally quest you know, items that you scoreboard. need to collect on some of these maps and they just don't appear anywhere in the ui inventory so even true. though they started doing that in black ops 3 and it was a great system actually even black ops 2 was doing it so yeah. why not continue it but they just said screw it let's not even bother and i i don't really get why
And don't even get me started on Modern Warfare 3 zombies. The, yeah. the, you had to hear the UI. The menu, like, bro, the fact that you literally have to zoom in with the menu constantly. Like, half the time I'm playing in MW3, I feel like I'm in the menu. You literally have to be, or else you're not progressing. Right, it's literally just Warzone. You know? Like, it's that's true. the biggest issue here. They just yeah. feel like they're stripped right from Warzone and exactly. multiplayer. Yeah. We used to have things that felt unique, and I think this is really important because zombies needs to feel more unique. It needs to feel like Spitting. its own mode, Spitting. not like it's just an extension of another mode in the game, yes. just with zombies thrown. And that's why people are always like, well, they remastered maps from World at War in the campaign for Nocturne Tone, but yeah, they still added that extra zombies feel to it. How does this feel like zombies, bro? It exactly. needs to feel like its own thing. And even yes. if it is technically its own yes. thing, it needs to actually feel that way. And the HUD is one of the main things to do that. 100%. And lastly, this does apply to all of the recent HUDs. And I have kind of already talked about this a little bit, but the HUDs are just kind of ugly. They just don't look clean. They don't look that good. The perks I feel like on MW3 are so spaced out and the icons are so small. You could have easily sort of put them on the left side as well. Again, why we go away from stuff that already worked is beyond my comprehension. But to me, when you go it's back to Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2, even Infinite Warfare, even World War 2. Look II. how nicer the perks are spaced in BO3. Just enough space to give you that absolutely iconographic look for each of the perks, man. And Gobblegums were so tightly knit as well with the HUD down on the bottom right. Like, why we stop this, I don't I know. I just think they looked a lot better for the zombies yes. modes and you yes. obviously go back to world of war and black ops one those are more simplistic zombies modes True. so it's hard to compare obviously there was less items in the game but it's sad to say when a 2008 video game has a better hud than the last five years of call of duty game That's you have to really put on the screen sad. in the first place but just those other zombies games just had much better looking huds Black Ops 4s, although it looks unique to zombies, and I do like that. Information overload. And also, I believe this HUD failed because Jason Wendell was too hung up on the idea of 4 for everything. Black Ops 4 have 4 perks, 4 specialist weapons, 4 elixirs, 4 different ammo types, 4 different everything. Like, let it go, man. It doesn't have to be everything. Put it in the pack a bunch 4 times. 4, 4, 4, 4, 4 maps on launch. Let it go. I'm not a big My fan goodness. of how it actually looks, especially with the perk icons, just the perk icons always being there. I know, because look, when you have extra perks, it just looks ugly. More than four perks, yes. it just weirdly goes to it the looks left horrific. side of the screen. It's just very how this was not patched out day one blows my mind to this day unorganized HUD, but at least it has a zombies feel so i'll at least give black ops 4 the benefit of the doubt I, there but then you go to mind. cold war vanguard especially vanguard that was probably the worst one like i said cold war is easily the best of the recent ones but like what is this one. bro and then modern warfare 3 zombies they just don't look that cool to me yeah. they don't look interesting without the perks you could literally not tell if this was zombies legit Take away the perks, it looks like a Warzone screenshot. Again, they don't have the zombies feel, and they're just kind of ugly. So yeah. I'm not a fan of that at all. So now let's start to get to actual specifics about no, these let's, recent let's HUDs. Dive again, not all of these yeah. things appear in all of these recent HUDs, but a lot of these things do. So first of all, the minimap. The minimap we have get seen rid of since it. Cold War it has been in every single zombies iteration Pointless. since then. It's literally only used on D-Machine for the ether scope. changed my mind. And it's not even, I literally don't even look at it ever including the round-based maps and open world stuff, literally everything. You have had that mini map in everything. And I don't see the point of it. Legit. It does not make any sense on a round-based survival you map. Never, it, make it, sense. it just covers more of the screen. I want to see the screen. I don't want to see a stupid looking compass whatsoever and a mini map, in an open you know? world mode like outbreak or uh, like the reason why minimap is prominent on multiplayer is because of the UAV function. So you can see players. You don't need to see where every single zombie is on every single point of the map at all times. Modern it's just not zombies, like that's that. fine. I understand why you'd have a minimap in those modes. Even then, I don't think they necessarily need to do it the same way they do it. But yeah, it understandably should be in those modes. In round-based survival no. maps, you're playing on relatively small maps that yes. everything is kind of placed within a, you know, one minute distance of each other. There is no reason why we need a mini map in this mode. Yes. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It just takes up room on the HUD and it does not look good. And again, takes away from that zombies feel because it's He's a spinning. mini map. When have we He's ever spinning. had mini maps in zombies? Yes. It does not have that zombies feel to it's it at pointless. all. It actually takes away a lot of great elements about zombies specifically the mystery and the exploration aspect of zombies, even just the, you know discovery yep. like just playing the map for the first time and looking around 
finding things, finding perk machines, finding the new- Like instantly, as soon as the mini map goes away, I can literally just focus on the gameplay. It's, doors it's mad. That you can buy, like, finding the pack of punch. Why is like, it All here? these things are just part of the zombies experience. And especially yes. in games like Cold War and Vanguard, where it's very easy to do those things. It is very easy to get around. I don't need a mini map to make it even easier. It yes. just doesn't make any sense. And there's not even an option to turn the mini map off. At least some of these HUD elements were going to be- Which is horrendous. Like, yes, you can turn off the compass, but why can't you turn off the mini map? It's literally a pointless feature. You're talking about today, you can turn off. The minimap you just can't and i honestly don't even think that would be a, a solid compromise i think a solid compromise would maybe be implementing a minimap into the game in another way which guess what they've already done before we've had plenty of zombies maps where the actual map legit the map you're playing on is so Yo, why do we need a minimap dog like the whole point of zombies is to adventure and explore. I should not be literally given a whole on Zelda dungeon map to show me how to get there throughout the map. It's mad. Somewhere on the map and you can go find it, take a look at it. You know, zombies in Spaceland, Blood of the Dead, like all these maps, they have these maps. And Blood of the Deads was perfect. That is literally all you needed. It's not even like highly orientated where it shows all the little perks and all that. Bro, make it cryptic. Literally Legit. there for you to look at. You can study it. So you can true. It. And then probably within like five or six games, you're going to know, gonna know the layout pretty well. Like yeah. it's really hard to play zombies a couple times and not really understand where everything unless you are absolutely terrible which is a section of players but that section of players is so small compared to the majority on the map is we don't need a mini map to make it even easier yeah maybe if they want to put the mini map you know in the, when you press the back button maybe have the mini map pop up there sure i don't know i wouldn't be get rid of it who cares i still think it's a who little cares? weird or maybe literally have it be, again some sort of an in-game thing that's a little more interactable maybe like minecraft where you can you know bring a map with you and kind of like carry it in your arm and you can see like this is way better like an actual map that you pull out with your hands not a hud element so true times look at it you so don't always look true. at it you to press a button on the, the d-pad yes. to pull it out so it at least makes it feel more you know atmospheric it makes it feel more exactly part of the gameplay and that's exactly. a big part of zombies to me. like multiplayer it does not matter like we can have a minimap and multiplayer just fine it does not take away anything from yeah. mode to me because that is a 6v6 competitive arcade shooter that's exactly. all multiplayer is to yep. me immersion atmosphere none of that really and you want the minimap to be big so you can have a bigger radius to see where uav to enemies are legit i don't understand how i have to explain this concept this is mad it matters so i don't care i can take a mini map it's fun campaign and zombies are the two modes where atmosphere matters yeah and guess what aside from the terrible open combat missions in modern warfare 3's campaign there's never been where there's even a mini map on that why is there a mini map in campaign mini maps in campaign because what it wouldn't make thinking? any sense imagine throwing a minimap in there to show you around like why would you do that part of it is it's the, to the explore. atmospheric feeling yes. of the mode where you're just going around as a soldier that's what zombies should be too yes. i want to walk around a zombies map for the first time and really spit it like expert there. fusion the check atmosphere. out the this map kind of takes that away my the gosh next element is the xp or point pop-ups on the screen okay listen even though I might have a controversial opinion to this, I don't mind the kill feed. However, put it away from the middle of the screen. Make it like multiplayer, you know? Put it somewhere else. It does not have to be right in the middle blocking my vision. Screen. You know? And this is something that started with Cold War and has continued in yes. Vanguard and Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Now, I think it's the least bad in the I Modern agree. Warfare 3 Zombies mode because they made it so the XP pop-ups will only be one at a time. Yeah. So you're not going to have... You know, a lot. Yeah, but the thing is, is if you like get a bunch of kills, it will just keep popping up for like minutes afterwards. So I, I don't know. It has pros and cons. In my opinion, put it somewhere where you're not looking or just don't have it. It's not even necessary. It's zombies. List like, XP come on. Ups like you can in Cold War and Vanguard. It's especially terrible in Cold War. Like, yes. It's one of my least favorite things about the mode. Oh, it's you'd be killing a horde of zombies. You can barely see. You just see like a bunch of numbers popping up on your screen yeah. all at once. It's just, it's too much, man. It's too takes much information, away from the experience I agree. So damn much. I'm trying to just, again, take in the atmosphere, but it's so hard to do that when you're just seeing 
thousands of numbers and letters popping up on your screen. That's not what zombies should be at all. It's Same so thing true. with metal pop-ups. So I really need true. to see yes. metals in zombies. Get I don't care. Them, I don't bro. care if I got a, a double kill or... or the only pop-up you should ever get is for rewards or Easter eggs that you find. Like, metals is a literal multiplayer Warzone thing. Why is it in zombies? A fury it's so kill true. or some headshot. Like, I don't need these things to pop up on the screen as yeah. extra dopamine hits. Yeah. The mode itself should be a dopamine hit from the start. I do and not camos. need to see camos, a bunch of Camos is enough, dog. We don't need more than screen. that. The only yeah. pop-ups that make sense is like a notification letting you know that you completed a camo challenge, yeah. for example. Yeah. Those make sense because you're not going to be frequently getting those anyways. So it's just every now and then you'll get that and it'll let you know, okay, you completed this camo. That's cool. Or maybe when you level up or something, it'll give you that notification too. Like I find with Modern Warfare 3 zombies, they don't even track the information that you want. Like if you're doing a story mission, you can't even see how to track it or see what the next mission is in the game. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they, they don't even put the actual useful information you want in the game. That's fine. I'm completely fine with those. But for every single kill you get, having some sort of a metal pop-up. It's so XP, true. No, get that shit out of here or at least give us the option to turn it off. Yep. There's also health bars and the damage point numbers. Yep. Now, these are something, again, that was introduced in Cold War and has continued going Definitely forward. Definitely more prevalent now, the thing in about Vanguard. These is that there is an option to turn them off. So yeah. this isn't the worst thing in the world just because you can. Also, just like a constant hit marker also, I feel like is not good in zombies. You know, like... That's the point. You're supposed to spread. Why am I getting hit markers? It. I'm. Whoops. I didn't one shot them. Turn like, them off in Cold War. Know. You can't turn them off in Vanguard. I haven't checked about Modern Warfare 3 zombies, but you can't do it in Vanguard. At least I've checked the menus. I just couldn't find it for the life no, of me. No, you can't. It's only an option in Cold War. Vanguard is and so messy. And of course, messy. I like that it's an option that makes it at least a little bit less annoying. But honestly, by default, it should just be turned off regardless. I agree. I don't think we need that information. And I do think that- What happened to less is more with the HUD? Legit. What happened to that? I- I don't know why that philosophy was thrown out the door because it's literally the whole purpose. Like you don't even need half the things you're seeing on the screen right now. There's a Legit. much better way to you don't. give that information to the player. Like you don't, do you really need a, a little icon to tell you how many weapons your gun is papped when you know that each of the pap camels represent a certain tier? You literally don't, you know what I mean? This is useless. This whole icon, completely useless. This useless, right? Like player. so much so of that. So, for example, for the health bars, there's ways to, and I know it would take a lot more dev time, but you can make it so the zombies actually deteriorate more as you're shooting them, and that's how you can tell they're about to die. The more bloody they are, the more torn up they look. That should be how it is. Look at George from Black Ops One. So true. What a great example. George had this really what cool thing example. where, of course, he didn't have a health bar, so you had no idea yes. how close you were to killing him exactly. But you but had a general idea because his appearance would change yeah. the more you shoot him. He would get bloodier. His lamp posting that he had that he would smack you with would get more destroyed. It's like it it's genuinely so was making much him better. change his look. The atmosphere that this added into the map as well was so brilliant. Just based on how much damage you're doing. And a lot yes. of boss zombies in Call of Duty Zombies have been like that before. Yep. And that's how they should be. That's I don't need health bars stay. for everything. Now, so some true. things, sure. I don't really mind having health bars on maybe like big bosses. Obviously, like the main boss fights, sure, I'm fine with that as well. Not like side bosses or whatnot. Like, could you imagine playing Transit and every denizen has a, bo a health bar? Like, but for stuff why? like just regular zombies, you know? We do not need health bars. I'm like not that against having them again because you can turn them off at least in Cold War, but at least give us a better way to show that instead of just being some more shit on the screen that just, you know, takes away from again, the immersive atmospheric experience. And instead- Like the point of a health bar is in multiplayer when you don't take out someone and you see how much health they still had. When does this ever happen in zombies? Are the zombies complaining to Treyarch at this point? Like, are, are we nerfing zombies because of that? Make like, it actually something a little more interesting. Like, for example, campaign. Mind. What if they started putting health bars on campaign characters? Exactly. Like the AI soldiers. Would you like that? No, everyone would say unanimously that is stupid. We don't want health bars in our campaign mode. 
So how did this not translate to zombies? Why should we have so zombies? So true. And I know that's, you know, they're somewhat different modes, but they have the same idea where they're supposed to be somewhat immersive experiences yep. with the atmosphere. Again, multiplayer, that doesn't matter. You can throw health bars in multiplayer. I'm not going to mind that whatsoever. I actually like health bars. It's in important in multiplayer. Because that is a very different type yes. of mode. It's more of a competitive arena shooter. That's not really what zombies is. And the damage point numbers look horrendous. That's one of my least favorite things about Vanguard because you can't even turn them off. It doesn't feel like you're playing zombies. It feels like you're literally playing like some random arcade machine game. You know? At least in Cold War, I always turn them off. They're, they're so ugly. Like I don't want to see a bunch of numbers pop up already on top of the other numbers popping up on the screen. There's just too many numbers. It's yeah. just too much. Yeah. And as for the XP slash point. Look, like instantly from Vanguard to Black Ops 3, do you just see the clarity instantly open up? I can see there's a Margo over there. There's a wall by. There's a group of zombies. I can see the HUD element. It's not blurring my vision. Pop-ups like, on the screen. It's insane. We already had that in the past. It was just on the you know bottom exactly. left-hand side of the screen. What happened to that? And all the points jumping out from there actually looked good. The screen, it would you just know? appear next to your points. And that was satisfying enough. I agree. I don't need it front and center on the screen for it to be satisfying. I, expert, it's perfectly bro. perfectly fine being yes. you know, a smaller number on the left side of the screen near near the actual points itself so you can see your points going up in real time. That's a lot better, a lot more clear to the player, and I think doesn't take away from the immersive experience that zombies should be. Now, the next thing's very... Like, that is such an underrated point. And you can see instantly how we go already back to MW3. My mind is like, my eyes are scattered. Like, there's a hit marker, there's a zombie, there's the reticle, but then search the area for Dr. Jance, and then the timer, then the... Too much! It's too simple. much! It's just the hot element, like... Why is the compass even there? Compass? You don't need a compass in zombies. Legit. There's not a single person who needs a compass. This I have never once heard somebody say, go 105 in zombies. Ever in my life. Not once. In any public match I've played in MW3 Zombies, and I have almost 10 days played on this freaking dumb game mode already, dog. It is something you can turn off in all of the games, Man. thankfully. So I always turn it off. I, I've literally never kept it on. I might keep it on just for like the gameplay if I want to get some gameplay of it just to show you guys how stupid it is. But yeah. I usually turn it off. It, it's 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 ugly. There's no need for it at all, especially like this is what I'm saying. Why are they wasting development resources on stuff that does not matter like this? Have we not learned our lesson from BO4 mutations? Have we not learned our lesson from that? Like, doesn't make sense to me, you know? And I know a lot of people might be saying, oh, you're always so hateful and negative. I love zombies. I want people to know that. I just want to see this mode prosper. And it's just so blaringly, like, hurting my head when I see such blatant errors in the game mode. And everybody also agrees with my same opinions to get rid of all this excessive HUD elements. And yet every year it somehow gets worse. When you have the mini map, like, you know, what, what am I ever going to need it? You actually also have, at least in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, you, you can literally call things out specifically with. On the Modern Warfare, I, even on MW3 Zombies, I never look at the mini map. It is always pulling up the menu. It literally goes to show how useless of a feature it is in MW3. It's your waypoints. So, like, I don't need the freaking compass it's, it's so useless i don't yes. know it's even more it's pretty yes. useless in multiplayer as well i don't even use it in warzone i literally use it in not a single mode so like why do i need zombies it just doesn't make it's any so, sense i have never n boys put one comment down below if you've ever heard one person make a compass call out in cod zombies it's just more ever. stuff on the screen ever. it's ugly get it out of here people literally just ping if they want to do it you know ping is way better in zombies focus on ping man not compass and next thing i want to talk about is not really a specific element exactly but it's just in general anything covering your gun is not a good idea in my opinion yes. so i don't like having the perk icons in the middle of the screen because of exactly look at the insta kill the perks the shield look look at this one pause feature and how many hud elements are covering the gun the katana the shield the perks the insta kill that anything that's like covering your gun and, and even it's just a little bit of space like, there I, I just don't like thinking? that especially in black ops 4 i think this affects it more than anything it's so like, true for example you're using the gauntlets on ancient evil there's literally i look how big the challenges also are on the left like I don't get it, man. It, it, it is mad to think that someone, like, with just a couple Photoshop touch-ups, and you've seen all those different BO4 Photoshop HUDs that people have made, and they're like, oh, this looks better, this actually looks better. I'm just, to this day, shocked the HUD never got patched. 
icons that are over the gauntlet. And yeah. I want to be able to appreciate the gauntlet Legit. in all of its glory. Look, three HUD elements cover the wonder weapon of the map. Three! Treyarch, dog! Like gorgeous wonder weapon. But if you have this like icon just constantly That's over That's such it a good point. Times, I do think it takes away from how it feels. I'm just, I'm personally not oh a fan. Oh my gosh, that is such a good point. There. Expert, this is a phenomenal uh, I wish they video. Move things around so you can just fully appreciate your guns. Perk icons yeah. should be on the left side of the screen like they've always been back. I agree. It shouldn't, perk should never be in the middle of the screen. Modern Warfare 3, I would say, does it the best in the middle of the screen, but it's still blocking the view. And they put it in the middle of Modern Warfare 3 just to show that you're playing dang zombies, or else you'd be thinking you'd be playing Warzone or something, you know? Back in the past. Why did they have to start oh changing that? Oh my gosh. I have no idea. I didn't it really is so infuriating when you when lay it out like this. Infinite Warfare. But then we've just kept getting it again and again and again. I'm kind of like sick of it. Like I, it's I don't need so the true. Put them on the left side of the screen like they used to be. Yes. Or at least let us have the option to do that or something. I also hate when there's permanent stuff in all four corners of the screen. I Expert, spit your facts, dog. That's what I'm saying. Bought a top left. Top right corner should never have any HUD elements ever, period. Why did this start happening in Black Ops 4 and stay as a trend? I don't understand. Everything that you need to show, I don't even care if there's extra elements in zombies, it can all be on the bottom two corners. I mean, I think it's important in zombies Plain to at simple. least save like one or two of those corners with to have nothing. Like yes. at all. Maybe you can have something that's like temporary that pop. What happened to the gameplay not being the pinnacle point of focus on the HUD? Pops up there, like for example, if you get a power up and you want the power up icon to appear there, sure, whatever. But Am I going insane or is, is that just like common sense? You know, like it, it blows my mind. In general, there should be at least one corner, especially for content creators, because like, yes. I can only say this as a content creator. I'm sure most people don't give a living shit. But, no, but it's important even for the game, because if content creators can't even show the game, how is the game going to even grow with all the new updates that you're putting? Blows my mind. It is nice to have that one corner oh you can always goodness. put your webcam in yes. and not worry about it covering something. Legit. Just put it there. You know nothing's. Ever I put my webcam over the radar on Cold War because it was a completely pointless feature. You can go back to every single one of my videos as the actual proof of that statement. You're gonna go there. Like, I love games that do that and acknowledge that, and they know that people love to make videos and love to put their webcam yes. somewhere. So please, give me one corner at least. It's just not creator friendly. It's not good for the game at all. With the way today's day and age works with media popularity and video game popularity basically being coincided, how is this not even a thought out idea? At least that just has Blows nothing. My or at least mind. let us customize that. Again, Legit. why not give us customizable HUDs? And lastly, I'm so sick of the ugly in-game menus, especially in- Okay. I th this is controversial because while yes, I do prefer on the PAP to choose my AATs, I agree. Less menus, more gameplay settings in the game. Just let me click one button and do it. Cold War, it's Vanguard, true. and Modern Warfare 3 yes. zombies. Yes. It just doesn't look good. Yep. I don't think in-game menus should even be a thing, yep. really. Like in the past, we never really had that. Yep. That's only been kind of a recent Fully zombies agree. thing. And what I mean by in-game menus, I mean when- Oh my gosh, yeah. The buy stations in Modern Warfare 3 zombies, for goodness sake. Like, look at this. It's not even... You can barely see what's on, in front of you in the gameplay. You click on something, for example, the Pack-A-Punch in Cold it's War. so And true. it brings up this little menu where you have to yeah. now select, you know, you want a Tier 1 Pack-A-Punch or you want a Tier 2. Or you can press RB to then look at the ammo mods, for example. Or let's this is look a phenomenal at the video. armor station. You know, it's a, it's a menu. You have to click on it and then it gives you another menu to go through. Or, you know, the armor stations in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Or, you know, you know the, the Wonder Fizz machine that you have to... Act and why is also everything so boxy in the newer modern COD games? You know, the scoreboard he just pulled up, boxy. The perk icons, boxy. It's all box, box, put it in a box, in the box, in the box. What happened to creating? What happened outside the box, you know? Actually select the perks. Like, all these are actual in-game menus yes I, I don't like them they not only do they look yep. kind of ugly but also they just don't really belong in zombies and i think I there's much better ways to implement all of this stuff just naturally in the game and actually phil youtuber donuts made a video about this quite a while yes. ago where he discussed some ideas for it he had a great idea and it's you know it's sad when youtubers are able to solve a literal triple a billion dollar problem
Blows my mind. The, uh, Blows my mind. With simply just putting the it's actual insane. items on the map itself, just yeah. like you have wall buys on the map itself. So for ammo mods, for example, why should ammo mods be in a menu through Pack-A-Punch? Why not just have ammo mods be a physical feature on the map that you go up? They, you know what they could do? So you could choose what AAT you could do. You could literally just put different color orbs around the pack punch. Oh, you want dead wire? Grab the blue orb. Oh, you want thunder wall? Grab the, the yellow orb. Problem solved. No ugly menu. So true. It, and then you hold X to actually use it or maybe purchase it or whatever it may be, whatever kind of currency the game wants you to use to get it. Or maybe have it be something you just simply craft. Yes. Like, look at the score streaks in Black Ops Cold War. How much more interesting would it be if the sentry turret is something you had to craft, just like we had in the past with buildables, rather than being something you had to... Everybody remembers the buried buildables because you had to craft them and how unique they were. They were basic, literal parts from, like, multiplayer or whatnot, like, concepts. But just put it into the zombies mode with that zombified look is all they needed to do. It's true. There really seems to be a lack of identity in terms of what makes zombies zombies with newer modern COD. The purchase for, you know, with salvage through a menu. Like, that's just, it's just a boring way to do it. Why not make it more interesting? And menus, just, yeah. they don't belong in zombies. It's just, again, makes the user interface less approachable, less interesting, and again, less unique. And you might be wondering, why do the developers do this? Like, what is the purpose for all of these things I've just mentioned? And I have some reasons. Ease of access and probably because they don't have enough time, which is always usually just not, it's just sad because it's not that they don't have enough time. It's because they don't have enough time within the constraints that they're actually given. And I know why they're doing it. The first big one is to try to tie the game more into the multiplayer and Warzone communities. And... I don't really understand what this thought process is from the developers. I think they just have some strange idea that making the UI and the HUD more like these other games that are popular, somehow that's going to make them want to play it more. N-O-N-O, -O, N -O, no, no, no. Like, you're taking what made the game mode unique and diluting it so much so to the point that you can't even remember what the original was. That's exactly what's happening right now. More. I don't think that's what people's thought processes are. There's exactly. a lot of other things yes. that connect it to multiplayer and Warzone that might get people to play it. Like, for example, the story connections or, you know, the, the camo grinding or the weapon levels progressing and all that stuff that kind of connects to those modes. That might get those players to play zombies, but I don't think they're going to see zombies and be like, OK, there's a mini map. I know what a mini map is, so we're good to go. That, that, that's not really legit. It, the mini map does not even help you. In fact, I would even say it confuses you more as to where to go and what to do because there's no elevation, and elevation is a massive factor of what makes zombies zombies, in my opinion. And it's like, it just looks so bland. See how people think. People so used to true, love man. and play zombies a shit ton back in the day in Black Ops One Zombies. Black yes. Ops One Zombies looks nothing. Like the multiplayer, it doesn't. Yeah. The HUD does not look the same at all. Completely different. Oh, it has its Completely own unique HUD. Completely different. Same thing with Black yeah. Ops 2 zombies, even with World yeah. of War zombies. They all felt unique to themselves. We didn't have to have... Like, how are we going below the bar that knocked Durantoten set dog? The very all first map! stuff to make it somehow bring those communities over. And I do think a big reason why a lot of those communities have came over to zombies Insane. nowadays is not Insane. because of the HUD. It's not. It's because of what I just mentioned. The yeah. weapon levels progressing, the yeah. battle pass progression, the camo grinding, all these things. Like, you can include that without ruining the HUD. It is possible. Many games have done it. That they can use in multiplayer and Warzone, they now can, you know, level up and utilize in Warzone. So that's yes. one of the reasons they like to now play zombies. It's not because of the HUD. If anything, I think the HUD probably just tires them out. They probably get sick of it. They get sick of seeing the same damn HUD all the damn day. And I also, like, I agree. What happened to map identity? Like, back in Black Ops 2, you go from Buried, you got that, like, nice Western 1800s look, then Origins to the steampunk vibe. Like, why did we go away from that? Who said that was a bad thing? Legit. They wanted something unique, and especially Zombies fans, 
They want something unique more than anyone. They want yes. to play zombies and feel like, wow, this- We don't go back to Cold War because of the maps. I'm gonna say that again. We don't go back to Cold War because of the maps. You go back because you like the progression of the mode. However, when you go back to other zombie games like BO1, 2, 3, and even 4, I go back because of the maps, man. Because there's actually gameplay loops of content there that I want to go back into rather than just gun leveling up. It's not, it does not have to be a multiplayer 2.0. This is a, you know, like zombies is turning into combat training at this point. Legit. Very unique experience, unlike anything we've ever seen. We don't want to play it and go, you know, it's zombies, of course, but, you know, there's too much Warzone influence here. There's too much multiplayer influence here. And the yep. HUD has a big part in that. Yep. I also think a big reason for these, you know, recent HUDs is just to try to make it more casual friendly in terms of stuff like the minimap. And I gotta say, I don't even get that entirely because you can make it certainly casual friendly in some places with- In my opinion, it confuses the player even more because they load into zombies pre-extinctively probably of playing the older games. They come back, there's a minimap. They're like, what the heck is a PVP? No, it's just a useless feature. Without completely you know? just- you know, destroying the entire game for everyone. Why have all these casual friendly things in every single mode for yep. every single person? Why not make a casual mode specifically for casuals? Like, it's also funny because Forsaken added the Abomination, right? And ever since this map, I literally actually forgot that the Abomination was a Forsaken exclusive because of how much they have spammed that enemy in all other sorts of modes. And it just sort of makes me realize, like, they don't make things for identity anymore. They make things to copy and paste them over and over, right? And they can play with their mini-map. They can play with all that stuff, but maybe make, like, an actual core mode that's for everyone else where they don't have all that stuff. There's already pretty easy ways to get around on these maps. They, they literally have icons on doors. Why do you have a HUD when this exists, you know? Why do you have a mini-map? It literally... It, 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 it's like, go here. I'm going to go there. In Vanguard. And I think they had that in Cold War. Like, we don't need icons on doors. Yes. I, back in the past, they always had in-game ways of showing the player where things are. Doors, for example, they glowed. They had this big shine. To Treyarch was a master class at lighting back in the day. And to me, I don't think that that is too much to ask to bring that back. Personally, put some glitter effects on the doors whoa you know? they look like something you could open that's how yes. players knew to go to that door yes or they utilize the lighting on the map properly to showcase where the perk machines are or the perks jingled they shine they had color spit in expert find them spin. and they still somewhat do that even in cold war and beyond so why do we need all these little icons everywhere to help yeah. casuals out they're not yeah. that stupid we're treating casuals like the dumbest people on planet earth they're not that dumb they can figure it out Yes, of course, if it gets a little too complex, maybe they won't be able to figure it out. But in general... Like, it's interesting because I've never actually heard of anyone ever complaining about the HUD being too complicated in the prior games. It's actually quite the opposite. It was always about the Easter egg steps being too difficult. And it just feels like they completely messed it up. Like, they made the Easter eggs just that much easier and then broke the HUD. I don't know. Well, they can Doesn't figure make sense. most stuff out. If they figured it out in the past, they will figure it out now. Yeah. And lastly, I think a big part of it is also for the dopamine rush. And that has to do with like the XP pop-ups and the metal pop-ups. And to that I say, like, come on, you can make a dopamine rush feeling game without all of that crap. Like, it's just- Why are people still playing World at War and Black- World at War BO1, BO2, and BO3 without the kill feed? It's because the game in and of itself has the juice. It has the satisfaction. <laughs> You know? It's, it, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the TikTok stuff that's been Legit! going on the past few years. Legit! Where, like, a lot of people... You're just trying to distract the viewer. Throw everything at the screen as, as you can. Literally. Need to have... It's like, so true. ...gameplay of Subway Surfers yes. below a clip of a movie yes. that's on TikTok because yeah. they assume that most people do not have the attention spans good enough to actually just watch that clip. It's and so instead, true. they need Subway Surfers below it. Now, it's you so might be true. right in saying that. Like, that might actually be psychologically true where, yes, maybe some people actually need that or else they're just not going to be able to focus on the game like and the thing is is those elements aren't inherently bad because they were all in the previous cod zombie titles but they were just executed way better than what we're currently getting sure you know you can say that 
But are, does that mean every single piece of art out there should be like that? Exactly. Should we start putting Subway Surfers below exactly. movies and theaters to try to get people to watch the movies more yes. often? Like, no, that's ridiculous. Like, this is a phenomenal should not turn video, into a TikTok trend. Yes. Like, I don't want that shit. If yes. We don't do this stuff just for the sole purpose of a dopamine rush. You should be able to create that dopamine feeling just within the gameplay. And zombies did that in the past. Shooting zombies in Black Ops 3 was very- Do you see instantly when he switches to an older game, how just clarity comes back? I can see the trees. I can see Gen 6. I can see the, the footprint and the horde and the, the HUD elements and the points. Like that to me is more stimulating than my eyes feeling like they're getting distracted. You know? satisfying. It's I didn't so need true. all this other crap. I didn't need hit markers. Yes. I didn't need, actually, we didn't even talk about hit markers. I don't really mind hit markers, to be honest. I think they're completely pointless. I brought it up before. They started doing yeah. that in Advanced Warfare. They did Infinite Warfare and beyond. I don't really mind them that much, although I do like that you can turn them off in some of the games, but it's not really a big problem. But regardless, yeah. back on topic. It's probably just, the least. I, I don't need all this thing. crap. I agree. You can give us dopamine rushes with just the gameplay itself and yeah. the rewards given to us. Like the, the only thing that should ever pop up on your screen that is above where the player icon here is, is literally what's happening when he gets hit by another zombie. How was that lost in terms of like creating a passionate zombies mode? Like the zombies should come first through gameplay. That you is know? what the dopamine should be, not XP pop-ups on the screen. Yeah, all in all, I think this wild. is gonna be one of the biggest things for COD 2024 Me when it too. rolls around. I really think the day- And I am so scared that they are going to make a Black Ops 2 remaster and commit the same mistakes, basically modernize that game into just something unrecognizable. Devs need to learn from their you mistakes. Know? I'm really worried they don't realize that the HUDs are making a negative impact on these recent zombie modes. And I guess we'll have to wait and see when this- It's true. At this point, there's been too many games that somebody needs to step up and talk about it. So Expert Fusion, I'm gonna end it here. This was a phenomenal video. Absolutely go and check out my man. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure and I'll see y'all in that next one, baby.